Hey, it's Coach Josh here, uh, training for Warriors Portland, and I'm talking to you today about goals. It's my favorite time of the year. I love New Year's. It's my favorite Monday. The scoreboard has been wiped clean. You've got a blank slate. You've got a whole year ahead of you to score some points, so to speak. And if you don't know me very well, I have a New Year's process I've been using for a long time. I got it from my therapist a long time ago, and it's been killing it for me ever since. I write a letter of gratitude about the year that just went by. And I'll tell you what, for the first time, uh, my, I had a year that was kind of rough. Like, I'm not somebody who looks in the rearview mirror and has a lot of uh, regrets or baggage, but I'm really glad I took the time to reflect in gratitude for 2018 because there were some lumps I took. And it's interesting how when I have a lens of gratitude, I see that a lot of the lessons I pulled out from 2018 were so, were so valuable because the situations that I was in, I wouldn't have chosen. And I had all these, these great opportunities to learn and grow that I didn't necessarily ask for, but it ended up benefiting me quite a bit as a, as a human being. It's like the, uh, the uninvited guest proves most interesting to dinner. Anyways, it's, great. it's a great flick. Check it out, uninvited guest. But, I don't know, I'm thinking of the man who came to dinner. Either way, the, the moral of the story is writing, a, year, uh, writing a, 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 lot, a letter to yourself for the year that just went by, writing out your gratitude for all the things that came to you is, a, is, is an awesome drill to pick out what you're excited about in your, in your life from the last year so that you can amplify those things in the year coming down the pipe. So as we get into 2019, you, you can start out with a list of most important things, or big rocks, as we call them here, training for warriors. As, and you can start to kind of build and guide your life and your plan around the most important things in your life. And that's gonna be critical. Because I'm 34 years old, I've been in the fitness industry for 12 years or so, and I'm finding that every time I do these goal-setting exercises, the goals are very similar. I've been on a path for a while, and my North Star doesn't shift very much. I mean, obviously, I'm moving back and forth on the terrain, so I have some adjustments to make, but it's not that my goals are necessarily going to change, but what I see is, in the areas of my life that I didn't make as much progress as I wanted to make, I often... It's not that I didn't try, it's not that I didn't care, it's not that I didn't have a plan, it's that I just took on too much. And I have to scale back and do those daily small habits, those, da those daily behavioral habits that create the change in the outcome that I want to see in my health, in my business, in my relationships in 2019. And uh, it's that old age old quote, a Herculean effort for one day won't make up for one year, or better yet, 10 years of tiny seeds planted and habits grown over the course of, of your life. So, the moral of the story is, write your gratitude letter, write out your goals again, and think about breaking down your goals into smaller pieces, so that you have maybe even daily habits. I like, to, I, look, I like to look at things in 15 minute blocks. And when I have something on my list that only takes 15 minutes, it seems much more doable, it seems much less intimidating to me to integrate it into my calendar. And what's not on the calendar doesn't happen. So think about that as you go through your process for getting focused on the year to come. Slow down, start fewer things to finish more things, and see what you can do with 2019. This is Coach Josh, Training for Warriors Portland, helping you bring out the warrior within.